All right, we're going. Hello there, Cedar Rapids. Tim Nash with Skogman Realty here. I am at Lou's Deli on 3rd Street, headed down towards Nubo, and I'm here today with Steve Sovereign. Uh, and Steve is gonna talk to us today about a really, really cool project that I just found out about. It's been around for a little while, I'm assuming, but um, it's just, it's a really exciting project that I really want folks to know about here in Cedar Rapids, and it's called Connect CR. And um, so Steve, I'm just gonna let you kind of talk a little about sure. it. Like, Maybe how how you just yeah tell me kind of how things got started the idea of it and then just kind of go from there if you'd like to sure and happy to have this conversation yeah definitely uh, about this project and yes it's called Connect CR but in fact it's two projects put into one mm -hmm. we call them bookends of downtown Cedar Rapids one is what's been referred to as an iconic bridge called the Smokestack Bridge which is in the New Bochek Village area. And the other is the enhancement of Cedar Lake. Some may have known it as the Slough in the prior yeah, years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and making that, which is really a, a welcome to the community, as something uh, uh, that is really a potential treasure of an urban lake and, and the wetlands and, and what have you. The interesting element of this, I think, that sort of differentiates it from other city projects mm -hmm. or government projects uh, Cedar Lake started maybe seven, eight years ago. The Cedar Lake part of the project. Right. You like the, the trail and all that. Yeah. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Friends of Cedar Lake. That was Felicia Weirich, Dale Todd got together and they thought, we ought to do something with this lake. Yeah. And about five years ago, uh, a group here of property owners in Nubo uh, who meets regularly say, what are we going to drive for the community that really continues the progress after the flood? Mm -hmm. And actually proposed that we we take this old railroad bridge which languishes in the in the Cedar River. Was that used before the flood? Did the flood or was it not in use for a very long time? It was not in use before the flood. But, the flood but then the it. flood took half yeah. of it away. Mm -hmm. And it's a bridge that nobody sees. Yeah. Because even though it remains in the neighborhood and it's just below the 16th Avenue bridge. The bridge takes a little turn, mm -hmm. so it keeps it in the neighborhood, but out of sight, so we can get into the design, which was part of it is the height, so that people can see it from elsewhere. Why is it called the Smokestack Bridge? Yeah, and originally, as we looked at it, this old rickety old bridge in the Cedar River, we called it the Sleeping Giant. Mm -hmm. But now that it's awakened, yes, yeah, uh, we call it the Smokestack Bridge, and here's why. What we try and do in all the development in the two neighborhoods, Czech Village and uh, Nubo, mm -hmm. is is to pay homage to our history. Yes. And one of the elements of history was the Wilson's Farmstead Sinclair Packing House. I knew, yeah, he's going to the Packing House. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. And the labor hall that was down here. And these two villages were built up by the, the, the Czech people who worked at then the Sinclair uh, uh, packing house. Mm -hmm. So at one point, it was actually uh, Jennifer Pratt with the city as we were working on design, she said, can we use that smokestack as maybe a design in the bridge? People wanted to save a smokestack uh, that was part of the original site, but it was too expensive. Mm -hmm. So they eventually tore it down. We're actually creating a new smokestack. Yeah. Same height, mm -hmm. same design, 192 feet in the air. Wow. That will be the main support of the new pedestrian trail bridge uh, that will be supported by cables. It's called the Cable Stay Bridge. Mm -hmm. But uh, And at the base of it will be uh, panels that tell the history of the neighborhood. Why the smokestack yeah. bridge? What about the neighborhoods and things like that? And uh, so, specifically, that bridge will connect two trails, That's or right. it'll, it'll be another connection because you could probably go over the Lion Bridge. You could. Or this is going to be strictly a pedestrian bridge, correct? That's a, an important uh, uh, differentiation, mm -hmm. Tim. They, uh, right now, the uh, 16th Avenue bridge functions as a trail bridge, but everybody knows it's totally inadequate even for our local traffic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so yes, it, uh, one of the reasons we call it Connect CR is it, it connects the trail that comes up uh, the south end, that goes down into Johnson County, eventually will go to Muscatine, will tie into Iowa City. 
uh, will tie into the trail, the Cedar Valley Trail that goes up to Cedar Falls. So it will be a continuous 100 mile trail. Uh, and um, it will also create a loop in the community mm -hmm. so that people who want to walk and uh, families pushing strollers can go across the Smokestack Bridge up to Czech Village and across the 16th Avenue Bridge and into the new low neighborhood. So that's kind of the connection. The one other thing I'll say about connection is that uh, there are actually now two national trails that are going to pass right through Cedar Rapids. One is uh, the um, uh, American Discovery Trail, mm -hmm. and there are segments all around the country that are tying into it, uh, and it will pass right through downtown Cedar Rapids. And they selected Cedar Rapids uh, because, and the trails here, because of the great work of the Lynn County Trails Association and the city developing unique trails because of the beautiful trail from Cedar Falls to Cedar Rapids, they look around the country, where are people committed to trail development? Right. So that's why we've been selected for that national trail. That's outstanding. That's yeah. Great. yeah. That's great. So we're talking, that was about the kind of the smokestack side. So that's the one bookend. That's the one bookend. So let's end. talk a little about Cedar Lake and right. what's happening down there. Yeah. yeah. Cedar Lake is, uh, is, is, is another sleepy giant, if you mm -hmm. will. It's a 120 acre lake that was actually developed to be a cooling pond, if you will, for a lion. Right. Yeah. A lion no longer needs it. Mm -hmm. uh, so they have actually now deeded it to the city of Cedar Rapids very recently mm -hmm. for a buck. And because they own the Cranick Railway, which owns the site of the Smokestack Bridge, they deeded that to the city for a buck. So awesome. for $2, we have these two uh, assets that can be developed. Mm -hmm. Cedar Lake uh, was uh, has been developed some in the past. Mm -hmm. Cedar Rapids Rotary was very important maybe 20 years ago yeah. creating a path. But this is going to be, this is a $10 million part of the project. Mm -hmm. The bridge is $10 million. This is a $20 million project. Mm -hmm. So imagine the $10 million investment in an urban lake. Yeah. It'll have a boardwalk that will go out over the water. It'll have floating islands wow. uh, with uh, various species of wetland plants. Mm -hmm. uh, we're working with various organizations to develop the reality of that. It has a wetlands in the north end that will create opportunities for local folks who can't get in a car and go to a wetland. Right. We've got one right here right. Yeah. that already has a tremendous amount of wildlife. I took a picture of a mink eating a bluegill. <laughs> it's and, awesome. It's very cool. And yeah. there are eagles and there are egrets and mm -hmm. all kinds of wildfowl, uh, pelicans that, yeah. that come in there. So we're going to create access to it for kayakers. There'll be a, a large pier, we'll call it a fishing pier, for people who are it's ADA accessible, people mm -hmm. who get out and over the water. So lots of amenities. Uh, to uh, allow access for the neighborhoods and those passing through to stop yeah. and uh, take time in a beautiful inner uh, urban lake. Yeah, and it's, I mean, there's already a lot of great things happening around here. I think one of the, one of the things that have kind of helped contribute to um, the popularity of Cedar Lake is actually, you know, they got the sag wagon over there. That's right. And then, and folks like to stop there on their way kind of through Cedar Rapids. And that, that trail has been great. I've run around that lake several times. Um, so that's, I mean, it just sounds like it's just going to be an enhancement of that area. Um, and how, then, go ahead. how much of the land around there is going to be pub, like public land versus is there going to be, um, is there going to be any uh, possibility for development um, kind of around uh, on, on the outside of that lake? Absolutely, and, and truly at both projects. What this does is to drive development around it yes. and associated with it. And you point out a good example. I mean, here the sag wagon is, mm -hmm. if you go down there in the weekend or a weeknight in the summer, it's just jammed with bicyclists. You got live music down there. And, yeah. yeah. And even now, uh, Parlor City, for instance, mm -hmm. says 30% of their business is from bicyclists. Wow. So what's going to happen now, the Sinclair site down by the bridge mm -hmm. is now opening up to development and there's some wonderful plans that are developing so that you'll see trail and uh, physical activity associated uh, 
commercial development around the bridge. Uh, you'll see, of course, right across from uh, the Sinclair site is Mount Trashmore. Yeah, yeah. Lots of exciting Lots things of cool stuff that developing there. there. Yeah. There's already a mountain bike trail. Yeah. And then on Cedar Lake, as you point out, there'll be other development that will be associated. For instance, I mean, one of the things the city will do will be take uh, proposals for a kayak. Um, that was, because I think that's the most, I think that's probably the most unique thing that we have going, that idea about Cedar Lake is this kayak rental yeah. concept. I think that's really, going to be really cool. Yeah. yeah, so you'll see a vendor of kayaks. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and, and so that'll be part of uh, the development. But what it does, and it, it, that's why we call it ConnectCR, it, we call now Third Street sort of the bicycle yep. corridor. Mm -hmm. And again, if you come down in the weekend in the summer, even all year round, there's so much bike traffic. So, uh, the, like Iowa Brewing is on 3rd Street, of course the market is on 3rd Street, there's a new residential development yep. right across from Bottle Works. So, what it does is enhance the lifestyle of people that are moving into the city as well as those who live in all the neighborhoods. All right, so last question. Sure. What is the timeline on project completion, are we thinking? Yeah, great question, and it comes up a lot. Actually, it's begun. Good. It's begun awesome. in this sense. Uh, flood protection in the city has been, because the city has taken it on as a project, yeah. is now uh, already gotten a trail across the flood berm uh, south of 60 Avenue, mm -hmm. right to the bridge site. Oh. And I should point out that um, uh, this is a $20 million project. Uh, I said that before, but it's primarily driven by the citizen groups that are promoting it. We're now at the completion stage of seven million dollars of that. We've raised 5.6 million and expect in the next few weeks to complete that campaign. City's in for five million, the Hall Foundation, Hall Perrine Foundation, that drives all of the good projects in this community is in for another five million. Then we look to the county and the state for the last three million. So we're already of a twenty million project at almost sixty million dollars. Yeah. That's great. Well Steve, thank you so much for taking some time. Thank you so yeah. much, Tim, for your Definitely. interest in this. I think it's a wonderful service. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a really great project. Keep your eyes open for more um, information about this. Of course, I will um, in the link uh, below this video, I will include a link to the Connect CR site, also Lynn County Trails Association. So, I am here with Steve Sovereign. We're at Lou's Deli. Great sandwiches right out here on Third Street. Also, they offer those Donut Land donuts that I know we all Cedar Rapidians love so much. So, um, so come on down to Lou's and try it out. Look for more information on Connect CR. Steve, thank you so much. Thank you. If any of y'all are looking to sell your house or you're looking for a new home, please reach out to me. I'll take you out to lunch. All right. Thanks so much, CR. Have a good one.